Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry, again, I haven't made a video in a while, but, again, uh, really busy. School, band, marching band's over, hopefully that'll clear that up. Uh, quick album collection update. Uh, this one, I want to show you a couple things. This first one uh, is not actually mine, but a friend let me borrow it because, well, he's just awesome that way. Um, Between the Barrier to Me, Colors on Vinyl. Uh, it's a double LP, great album. It was great hearing it on uh, vinyl, and this is actually the. Uh, if I can get it out of here, it's actually a uh, pink vinyl, and I don't know if you can see it on here. There's a white splatter on it, which is pretty sweet. So uh, colors on or er, colors vinyl edition. By between the barrier to me. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, you're awesome for letting me borrow this. Uh, thanks, man. All right, and now into albums that I've purchased for my collection. Uh, actually, I didn't purchase this one. This one was given to me. Um, another between the barrier to me record, Alaska. Oh God, the glitter. There we go. Yeah, Alaska by Between the Barrier to Me. A uh, great album. Between the Barrier to Me is just great. My favorite album, I think, will still be Parallax 2 Future Sequence, um, which I bought the live version of uh, Future Sequence live at the Delatorium. I bought it, but since Jacob let me borrow colors, I let him borrow uh, Future Sequence. So I'll show you, I'll make a quick collection update for that when that time comes. Uh, next is Into the Electric Castle by Arion. I love Arion. I think it's an amazing project. Arian Lucasen is just a genius. This is a great album. It has people like Sharon Denadel from Within Temptation on it. Uh, this one does anyway. Uh, so, Into the Electric Castle. Uh, it says Special Edition, but I really don't know what makes it so special because just the two discs, like the Standard Edition, I guess it's because it's in a slipcase. Um, might be a reissue. I have no idea. Uh, so, Arian, Into the Electric Castle. Uh, this next one uh, is a 2014 release. A lot of fans of this band didn't like this album, uh, and they're starting not to like this band anymore because of the way they're going. I personally enjoy this album. It's one of my favorites of this year. Uh, Siren Charms by In Flame. This is In Flames. This is the uh, Digibook edition uh, with the bonus track Become the Sky. Has a pretty cool booklet. Looks, I'm guessing, expanded artwork, but you never know. I've never looked through the standard edition. Uh, but Siren Charms by In Flames. I personally like this record a lot. Uh, a lot of fans of this band don't. So, to each their own. And then, uh, like I did before on the on Hastings website when they had the 30% sale on used music, they had a 35% sale this time. Uh, so I made a huge haul. Well, not a huge haul. It's three like it was last time, but all three are studio albums this time. Uh, the first one is Midian, uh, Cradle of Filth. It's their fourth album. It's one of my uh, favorites, uh, the, along with the next one. Probably, this one and the next one are probably my two favorite uh, Cradle albums to date. Um, Her Ghost in the Fog is one of my favorite songs off this track, or off this album. Um, so, Cradle of Filth, Midian, great album. Uh, the next one is the other one I was talking about, the other one that's probably my favorite out of the Cradle of Filth discography, uh, Nymphetamine, and this is actually the uh, Digipack version, and Glare is horrible. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, the next, or Disc 2, uh, just had like six, seven bonus tracks. Uh, a few of them were covers too, so. Nymphetamine, Digipack Edition by Cradle of Filth. Uh, this next one I got for like a dollar thirty nine, which is awesome for uh, I guess what it is. Uh, Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder, The Life and Crimes of Gil de Rai. I don't speak French, so I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Uh, but this is the deluxe edition, um, which has the subtitle uh, down here: The Life and Crimes of Gil de Rai. Um, I only got it for a dollar thirty nine, and the case is pretty beat up. I'm pretty sure that sleeve is not supposed to do that, so 
the CD likes to slide out, but it's not scratched. The discs are almost brand new. Um, but yeah, this is pretty... The case is pretty beat up, but the CD's, like, both discs are, like, brand new. So, uh, Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder, Digipack Edition. And then this last one I bought, at the same time I bought, uh, Siren Charms. Uh, Darkly Darkly Venus Aversa by Cradle of Filth. Uh, again, Digipack Edition. Uh, this two has four bonus tracks. Um, and as you can see, the case is, uh, pretty beat up. But the, again, the discs are brand new, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, another great Cradle of Filth album. Uh, before this one, I think was Bright Before Manticore and Other Horrors. So that's a great album. Uh, Cradle of Filth is becoming one of my favorite extreme or black metal or whatever genre you want to tag them under. Um, but that's it for this. I will uh, see you guys later when I make that little special update video for the Between the Buried and Me record. Alright, see you guys later.